If you're live, type in something. Maybe we'll have to see some messages. Maybe messages will come up. Yeah, on this screen, we might be able to see messages. We we'll use our super spidey eyesight. Who has the super eyesight? Uh, there's some recaps. Superman. Uh, turkey. Turkey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So many turkey jokes today. Yeah. Ooh, I got a little wing too. I didn't know that. So you didn't know that. Uh, when it's yeah. time, I'll just. And then you know you can just start your instruction to one write it down first. Or you oh, no, I was thinking you would just go ahead and introduce how you normally do in the script, and then you can t turn to me maybe and ask just uh, why I chose a song, or oh, just okay. mention that I chose. Even just mention that I chose. Are we doing this? I selected. Are we doing this? I selected the, the uh, right music. Now. Give it the way online. Right. 30 seconds. How about to start? Let's get going online. Yeah, we, I right. was thinking just because when we do the introductions, I could just no, mention I wasn't the thinking, aren't they watching why it? I chose the song. Uh, what, yeah. We just no, the camera is watching you. And we're but playing we get about to, the show. When we get to the song time, I'll just stop. I'll just stop it. Stop <laughs> 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 so us talking start? about 20 seconds earlier. Let's start. No, I'll right, introduce the song and say, I think. Why you want to it? she's already doing something today. Oh, before the song. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, that works great, I think. Yeah, it seems to me there's a natural point when you're introduced when you're this introducing time, the song you know, that we can comment <laughs> before the song break. You know what I mean? Yep. Any idea yeah. about so you'll, I, if you want to watch this, oh, yeah, because it's topic for that. How the heck do you Oh, so I have to watch the time and make oh, sure oh, that really? we I'll watch it too. Finish yeah, before that. Now you're proceeding. I see what you mean, though. The media doesn't make it that market. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're right. gonna have block have yeah, they got supported now. by kind of radio station. We're yeah, trying a new, way, yeah. we're trying a new song introduction right segment. Now. So guys, okay, if you I'll... want to introduce songs yeah. next time, watch this process because we're gonna try to like time it so that I have a thirty seconds or something to say what the name of the song. Or something. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back. Now it's time for part two, where we'll be discussing media trends. Every week we talk about different media trends. And as I informed you earlier, we have our live show with Talk and Talk. With me in the studio, we have Tim, Peter, and Dennis. Finally, Dennis is back. Hey. Hi. Yeah, how is everybody back. doing? Uh, yeah, sorry. It's, I had some, you know, the scheduled conflict. So I just wanted to join, but I couldn't. But you didn't miss me, right? Did you bring I, I it? Missed you. I missed you. Tell the truth. <laughs> I missed you, Denver. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Peter, how about you? Definitely missed you. The flow, there was something missing. There was a gap. Uh, so we kind of fell in the gap and got stuck a few times. But all we're right, back on all right. track now. Okay. Right. Hey, hey. I think we can share a Smell of kind of turkey or chicken. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> you're very nice. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone watching on YouTube and Facebook can see. But for those on the radio, um, Tim has an interesting costume today. Yeah, oh, Tim, tell see, us about your costume. Yeah, I'm so you. uncomfortable. Do I have to, ne to sit next to just turkey or to chicken? Uh, so those on the I'm live stream, you got to see us perform uh, what is going to be an annual tradition now of <laughs> chopping the head <laughs> off of the turkey before the broadcast. So maybe at the end of the broadcast, we'll actually feast on the bird. Yeah. yeah. For those who don't know, the past week was on Thursday. It was American Thanksgiving. So Tim has come dressed as the turkey. Even brought the axe so we could uh, cut his head off to eat him, which we will do later. Oh my God, the big, what is that? axe, right? Look at the size of the hey, axe, Hey, listeners, uh, the team has a really big axe. You can okay. easily oh, decapitate you? You? a human-sized bird with uh, that axe, right. just okay. in case <laughs> you don't get a chance to see the picture. Maybe if you go to the website, we'll try to post the photo. How about that? Yeah. Really nice. Social brilliant. media type brilliant. thing. Brilliant. Or on the, is there a Facebook site? Are there any sites that represent yeah, the radio show? Yeah, the chip. Okay, right. Hey, you don't talk, just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk All about right. it. Let's so, go. Uh, this time, this week, we're going to talk about how to capture the attention of young radio listeners. So, uh, catching the attention of radio listeners is harder than ever, and even harder for young listeners. 
So there's so many choices they have with smartphones, music streaming, social media. YouTube and Facebook have rapidly become the dominant brands for 30 to 29 year olds. They love their music, but radio is increasingly coming under pressure from the brands. So competition is both fierce and global. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah I totally you agree. Totally agree. Okay. But you know, the, the, what is the uh, exact age range? So 10 teenager, 10, 15? Well, well, teenagers. Teenagers. 13 right. to 19. But, uh, but young listeners, they're talking like 13 to 20. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Those preteens and stuff like that? I When I was preteen, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely listened to the radio every day. Yeah. You know, commercial radio was a, was a big part of my life. Hold on, I need yeah, to I mean, translate. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, 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 to be honest, I asked some of my students, hey, are you listening to radio or interested in listening to music? Yeah. You know, they radio? Say they radio. say no. Just say no. <laughs> okay. No commercial radio at yeah, all. Yeah, commercial radio. No. Uh, so I just asked my wife, hey, how can we promote, you know, to, to attract more the listeners of young age? Okay. So, so she asked, okay, oh, how about invite BTS? Some of the very famous <laughs> singers to the studio. Many, you know, fans of teenagers did they just uh, come to the listen to the radio? Yeah, I think they don't even necessarily have to appear in the studio. Nowadays, we have telephones, so yeah. you can just call them, right? Yeah. And uh, in, for example, like a podcast, like we're doing now with live streaming. Oh, really? If they if they do appear in the studio, you can actually live stream that. So that see it but I, yeah if any, calling if, them if any members of bts are listening ah, on, oh, yeah, you're welcome we want to meet you <laughs> bring, bring, bring black pink also <laughs> all right and i think that the, it was the real uh, podcast it was a really nice the best way to kind of the uh, for the you know, gfn or this radio station to be survived you know, the, just the video and uh, this then it's a uh, how can i say visual image media just when it appeared, this radio was just dying. You know, unfortunately, GFN also because we have to find kind of a new way well, uh, to I kind promote. Of, I right? disagree a little bit, Dennis, with your language because yeah. there's no way that radio can die. Commercial radio uh, may may someday die, and that's fine. Radio will live on as long as we have, you know, even even if electricity itself dies. Of course, of course. I say that radio will still live. You'll still be able to broadcast on the airwaves. Yeah, but I'm worried that the number of you know, the listeners is kind of decreasing. That's the problem, I think it's right? I think it's a wave. A little, you know, the sine wave or uh, whatever it goes uh, up, it goes down, and it's a natural cycle. So don't don't worry too yeah. much about it. That's that's the way I approach. It. Yeah, got it. So you you there? You mentioned that you think commercial radio might die, but maybe public radio. Yeah, but What's even the, the term public radio is still relatively new. It was invented, you know, 50 years or so after radio uh -huh. was even invented. So before that, there was radio, and after that, there'll be radio. Commercialism as we know it uh -huh. will someday die, I hope, and uh, we will still live on. Culture will still exist. Uh, humanity will still exist. Um, culture radio, cult, uh, commercial radio will be a weird memory I think. Ah, okay. all right to answer your earlier question commercial radio means that they rely on the ad revenue you're right you're whereas right. public radio that money from the government uh, money from the government. so it's more stable right yes. For, yeah a public radio right it's a culture mm -hmm. too i mean uh, you can clearly hear the difference from a commercial radio station and what is non-commercial what is referred to as public radio. on which side are you in a gfn the commercial or public it's, it's, I think it's a bit of both. Yeah, we have um, a little bit of both. Uh, uh, both right. and, uh -huh. and from commercial. Oh, I got it. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. <laughs> Come on. 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 I have something to say because I forgot to say it in my last comment. Mm -hmm. So for young people, it's not easy to stay off smartphones and ignore these big brands that we mentioned earlier. But there are a lot of good reasons to do that, you know, and to reject their content. So 
Um, I'm excited by some of the radio that are independent from the big uh, the big brands that you mentioned. Um, so just to remind listeners that independent is not only a genre for music, but it's also a movement, right? So we can be somewhat independent from these uh, aspects of the big brands. But, you know, um, I think I like the way that radio is, is being forced to adapt to uh, improve their content, you know, compete with, uh, you know, the big brands that we mentioned. Um, so I feel like that maybe internship programs are the way to go. If you really want uh, listeners, young listeners to tune in, then give them representation and more control mm-hmm. over the actual production. And we've mentioned that several times, every time this has come up with GFN, and they've asked our opinion and said, what is going to, you know, influence young people and bring them into this? Well, to tune in, and I said, you know, put them on the radio itself, and then they'll want to listen to their friends, and they'll know that they're actually being represented. Yeah, I think that's the best way, because the GFN just does, they kind of some programs like, interview or just a recording that's cool like that. okay and uh, let me give an example how about that when the movie theater was dying because of kind of appearance of kind of tv media right and then uh, but movie theater still goes on right yeah. because the movie theater has their own originality kind of big screen and nice sound right and tv um, uh, uh, media is all totally different right so people just they sometimes go to a movie theater and they just enjoy watching on TV, right? Even though the content is same, right? How about the, that? Uh, we can the radio station can use like that that format. How about ASMR? Well, let's come back to that. We've got it's time for a song break. Oh, really? Yeah. So we'll come back to that after the song. Um, so we've got the song "Won't Get Fooled Again" by the Who, and it's uh, a request by we Pizza. Can, yeah, really? that was my request hey, today, and we I can hope skip this that. Okay, no, a new skip tradition, that. you know. Skip, we okay, skip, 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 skip. That's not why this song. Uh, I wanted to hear the scream. So scream? Everybody turn your radios up to 10. You know, if you're in your car, open your windows. For example, just keep it. Turn those <laughs> radios up because we're going to break some windows. Yeah. All Sounds right. good. Let's listen. Listen to that scream. Oh. Ah. We can't hear it in the studio, but I'll do it for you. Ah, ah that, that scream. That's the most scream. Yeah, so it's the new. Okay, let's keep talking about today's topic. So, um, BBC local radio is changing its music policy mm. a bit to increase its uh, visibility and appeal to the younger audience. So, it seems it's not a problem only for younger audiences, but radio as a whole. As you know, You're right. So, radio listeners have been decreasing and decreasing, decreasing Absolutely. compared to the past. So, what do you think about this? Yeah, I think it's kind of a natural trend, a natural way, because, you know, just now it's just the smartphone media industry just exploded already. So, of course, uh, something is kind of growing and something is just getting, you know, smaller, right? But that's the kind of radio section we have uh, to find. Yeah, that is a trend, but mm. I feel like also they are moving their support to where they feel they have more control over the content, right? Yeah. They can select the exact song they want to hear when they want to hear it right. something that we did not have that choice listening to commercial radios as young people i could tell you were listening for hours for my favorite song to come on and being disappointed when it was, didn't get I'm played the, or they just dropped it for some reason right like this remember, song is not popular anymore i remember young next to the radio with my cassette recorder uh, ah okay the, right. waiting for the song to come on so i can press you're record. right you're that generation, right? Oh, yeah, that's oh. yeah. yeah, we want to record the song on okay. a tape. We're the same generation, tape, right? So that we can make our own mixtape, right? Yep. And then that way we can play it for ourselves and our friends uh, whenever we want to hear the song. And annoying that we the DJ would talk over it. Right. Yeah. right. We just record so it and listen to it. It makes sense that they have more control over the content, so they just shift all their support there. Um, and it's in a lot of ways, it's become more entertaining and relevant, the content. So, but I, I still argue ultimately that they're being deceived and it's a trick and because they don't have real political or economic control of the system. Mm, and that's yeah. being taken away from them while they're given this uh, kind of uh, a, a facade, right? Where they, they seemingly have more control. So systematically, it, it, it's failing. 
um, like in a lot of aspects of the rest of the world. So I feel like that, um, you know, they should get more democratic democratic control of these systems. And um, I'm not sure they're going to be able to do that with the internet because it just doesn't have that local control aspect the way that radio has more potential to change. So it's, it, yeah, people think that the, the problem is the kind of platform of the video and the uh, radio, but I don't think so because if the content is really good, kind of like the uh, radio station has a very uh, strengthness of kind of quiz, pop quiz, or kind of prize time. They're kind of interact more interactive than TV, right? So maybe we can yeah, improve that uh, style. Yeah, you mean there's the with the call in, yeah, function, yeah, like a live yeah, call in yeah, show. Yeah, call -in always the listeners want to kind of be joined. So, how about that? Sunday, Sunday talk, we, we have kind of the interactive, right? On YouTube, wow, 100, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, if so you're many listening viewers, to the right? live stream, uh -huh. you, can, you can interact with us live by typing in some words or you can. Yell out your car door, whatever. Yes. Maybe we'll hear you. So I think that the radio, radio tech industry has to kind of touch that kind of emotion of the generation of a cassette tape recording. Yeah, that kind. Of, I think teenager, young age, they have that kind of emotion inside them, but just we couldn't find it. They want to communicate. They need to. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they, they don't know the, yeah. what cassette tape is. They don't know. All right. Speaking of communication, Ken, <laughs> it's time for us to hear. What's your opinion? Why don't you, why don't you tra translate? <laughs> I feel like we have, I feel like I'm in the Thanksgiving Day Parade and this is a giant float sitting next to me and maybe I'm holding it with a string or something. Okay. What if I'll... Oh, good. See, he does speak English, listeners, he does. I know, right? What oh. a surprise. I'm oh. just speaking English like that. All right. So, I actually have okay, some ideas. I'm the eight. <laughs> what? Let okay. him talk. So, yeah, let me talk. All right. So. Miracle. All of your ideas are great, okay? You know, having, you know, maybe student presenting in the show and having more content, very interesting content, or maybe inviting a celebrity, that's all a good idea, or playing like a modernized music. But if you don't do the advertisement properly, it'll be awful no, you know what I'm saying? It's like you don't advertise at all, but you're like, oh, we have this wonderful content, why people are not watching it, you know? That's about doing another problem. promotion for the yes. for the show or the live. All right, show. so I'm not so sure about inviting students over to represent themselves in the radio station because you don't. I don't know about this, but I, I'm pretty sure you know, Peter, that not everyone is a speaker. You know what I'm saying? Not everyone is a public speaker who's really competent to speak out to the audience or in front of even radio station with the only mic in front of them. Sometimes some people still get shy. You know? So how about we get the messages from you know? audience it doesn't have to be necessarily young people it can be people of the all ages just sending there like a story they want to share on the radio to provide more content and to hear their story from the radio and see how people react to it i think this kind of element can also play a huge role when you're trying to you know strike a young audience or maybe you know we can actually try to intimidate the voice of a famous actress or something because radio is all about the voices right you're right when you guys were young, I'm pretty sure, since I don't know, you know, I'm a millennial, but you got that boomer, right? Okay, so, <laughs> when you guys are young, I'm pretty sure you guys used to listen to the show with you know, a bunch of voice changing. Yeah. Right. Where people know. actually had a little play going on, like a little villain chasing a hero, and he was trying to save the day, but he was only in the voice. Yeah. All right, so the same person. So what, what kind voices. of voices can you do then? Are you... Are, are, can we do it? Dennis does a pretty good voice for mm -hmm. a turkey voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just just Peter. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it can be not really that difficult. Sorry, to me. <laughs> can you do your favorite? Who's your favorite cartoon character? Me? Can you I'm do the, the voice piece. of your favorite cartoon characters? Oh, I'm not good. Sorry, uh, yeah. Not yeah, I'm not, I'm not great playing. I have a student that sounds you, exactly like Linus from Peanuts from the 1960s. Really? Uh, Peanuts. Uh, if, you, if you know the Linus voice. Uh -huh. If you haven't heard, I'm not going to try to do the voice. Just try. <laughs> If you if you tune in, you know, check, go on the YouTube or whatever, and search Linus, mm -hmm. um, you can hear his voice. It's so distinctive, totally classic. I think that's that's one of the kind of funniest content we yeah. can just make. That's really nice. And yeah, kids are great at doing voices and, and having fun on the radio. More sort of authentic kind of fun, right? That you have when you're a kid. That adults try to uh, relive sometimes, but it's not the same. Yeah, how about the fairy tale story, the audiobook? 
How about audio book? Uh, nobody wants to audio. hear them. Come on. Dennis. No. Oh, yeah, right. People are sleeping. Just mom, just, you know, just tuning in. And then the GF fan. Oh, there's audio book. And again. Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, good night, baby. We have to introduce our last our last song break of the day. It's "Youth of a Nation" by P.O.D. So look P-O-D? that up, folks. It's a, a, a kind. It's a moment for the youth to rise up. That's Aww. what this song represents, and it's actually the theme song of one of my favorite kids' radio shows uh, on my home public radio. Station. Mm, good. I, I don't know P.O.D. What what does P.O.D. stand for? I'm not sure myself. Yeah, let's <laughs> find out. Maybe. <laughs> What is you, the Peter and Peter Dennis? Something. <laughs> something. Peter or Dennis? Peter or Dennis? That's good. Peter or Peter or Dennis? Yeah, no, me. No, <laughs> All right. Okay, so it's Youth of a Nation by P.O.D. Thank you. 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 We didn't really get a chance oh, no, to do our sign it. off. Yeah. I know, right? We're like, so, so. oh, what's that a buy? We can add it in after. But in the in the sorry, are we circuit? a little short? Yeah, well, sorry to speak English. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so let's. There's an. Oh, there's. That was the last song. So okay. if it's the That's last song, we need to sign off before we do that. Yeah. So add a sign off. Okay. Sorry, my fault. I was I was trying to ask if, if it was your recommendation. Again. Okay, Peter or Dennis? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Sorry, Peter or Dennis. Over the sign off. So I, I think you guys still have lots to say, but unfortunately we've run out of time. So that was all for Talk and Talk on our segment with Tim, Dennis, and Peter discussing the media trends of how to attract young listeners back to radio. Thanks for coming in, guys. Yes. Next week we need 10 more minutes. I'm a leg man, so I'm going to go ah, a leg. You can have the wing, Dennis. I was so fun with the team, right? Okay. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so I, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedules to come. My pleasure. Thanks. See Happy you next Thanksgiving. week. All, All right. right. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Oh boy! Did it work. That was our that was take amazing. two. All right. Moment. Nice cooking time. Okay. Lying on the table. Ah. <laughs> That's that was my that. Mickey Mouse impression, by the way. Oh, yeah, it did kind of sound like Mickey Mouse. It's warm. Can I have one more? One?